Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and my tutorial in this particular video. I'm going to teach you how to create dynamic pivot table. Now what I mean by dynamic table is, uh, so let's say I have a sample data set over here and I'm going to add a pivot table and I'm going to click on next. So basically a hard coded range has been selected when I'm trying to add a new pivot table. So I'll just say finish. So I have my pivot table over here. I'm going to just drag this fruit column over here. So I have apple, guava, orange and strawberry. Let's say next week you plan to add more data into this data set and uh, you get chiku of 50 quantity and 10 is the price. And if you go ahead and refresh this data set or pivot table, the chiku is not added automatically into this pivot table. So now there are two ways to automatically add the new data into the pivot table one is you add a table to this data set so you can select the data and click on insert and click on table so my table click on my table has headers select the data and click on ok so now a table has been created and you can change the name of the table over here so i'm just going to change this to say fruits so I'm, I have a new table created as fruits. Now I'm going to add a pivot table. I'm going to click on all DP. I'm going to select next and it's going to ask me for range in instead of range. I'm just going to enter fruits and I'm going to click on finish. So my table has been added. I'm going to just drag in fruit over here. So I have apple, chiku, guava, orange and strawberry. Now let's say next week you add raspberry to this. raspberry to this of say 20 is the quantity and 100 is the price and if you just refresh this pivot table the raspberry will get added automatically please ignore the blank because just because i press the tab it has picked up automatically so the raspberry has been picked up automatically this is one way where you can create the dynamic uh, pivot table the other way where you can uh, create a dynamic pivot table without using the table is uh, let me just show you that so i'm going to paste the data over here so i'm going to go to the formulas tab and click on name manager click on new and i'm going to give a name to this called as fruits underscore data and here in place where it says refers to i'm going to type in is equals to offset open bracket select the first cell over here and comma zero comma zero comma I'm going to type in count a open bracket and select the entire row over here close bracket comma again count a open bracket and select the first row over here close the bracket twice and click on ok now a name has been created called as fruits data click on close and let's insert a pivot table now let's go to insert pivot table so instead of table or range i'm going to type in fruits comma data this is the name which we just created i'm going to click on ok and my table has been created so i'm going to just drag this fruit over here so i have uh, the data all the fruits that have been picked up automatically so i'm going to type in a new fruit name let's say i'll enter blueberry and 20 quantity 100 price and i'm going to just come here and click on refresh button so if you see here the blueberry has been added automatically so i hope this video has helped you and you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials and also click on the notification bell to get a notification whenever i upload a new video you can also comment down below if you have any questions and suggestions and if you need any help with excel sql or vba i'll be happy to help thank you so much for watching